one step multiplication and division equations. So what we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and solve this down. Now right here you, you have a fraction here so you don't really have to circle anything here because you're actually to your final stage. So right here you got y is equal to 8 and this is equal to 5. So we don't really have any plus signs or minus signs so we're not going to box or do anything like that. We're either going to uh, multiply or divide. Uh, right here we have a fraction, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the other side into a fraction. So what I like to do is to just cross multiply. So I like to take 1 times y, so 1 times y is y, and then multiply the other way. Just take 8 times 5, so 8 times the 5, so y is equal to 40. So that's one way of doing it. Now, some people, what they'll do is they'll times both sides by 8, and they'll get the same thing. So whatever method you like the best, I mean, you can use it on this. Because some people say, oh, there's an 8, so, you know, I'm just going to times both sides by 8. Well, these 8s here will cancel, give me y, and then 5 times 8 is 40. So some people, what they'll do is they'll multiply whatever the denominator. I tend to uh, make the other side a fraction and just cross multiply. So, you know, 1 times y is 1, 8 times 5 is 40. So either way, you know, you get a 40. Okay, the well next one, we don't have a fraction there. So, in fact, you know, you got 51 is equal to 3K. So, right here, you know, this is, would be your circle. This would be your box. So, now, remember, I gave you the rule B, C, D. Uh, we're going to box our numbers. We're going to circle our letters, and then we're going to divide. We generally always divide. There is times where you saw with the first example we multiplied, but for the most point you're going to divide. So right here the letter's not by itself, so you want to divide both sides by 3. So 51 divided by 3 is 17, so K, so 17 is equal to K. So let me type in 17. So again, you know, you already have your, your circle on one side, box on the other side. And remember the rule, B, C, D. You're up to the D part where you want to try to divide. Because you're going to divide a lot more than, you know, you would multiply here. So, in this case here, since the, the number 3, the coefficient 3 is in front of the K, you would divide both sides by 3, and you get 17 is equal to K. Okay, next question, we have a fraction here. And what I would do is, since of a fraction, I would just make this a fraction. Well, h times 1 is h. See, anything times 1 is that thing. 3 times 1, 3. 4 times 1, 4. 5 times 1, 5. h times 1, h. Now let's go the other way. Here you're going to just take 9 times 9. So 9 times 9 is 81. So right here is 81. Okay, next one, we have 42 is equal to 7R. See, I didn't circle the last one because it was a fraction, but see, there is no uh, fractions here, so you know, you could circle your letter, you could box your number, and you could see, yeah, I got the circle and I got the box. So the B and the C is already used, so you're up to the D. So you're up to the D, so you got to divide. So right here, we're going to divide by the coefficient. So the coefficient is 7, so 42 divided by 7 is 6, and that leaves me equal to R. So 6 is my answer. Now, see, we have a fraction here. When I have a fraction, I'm not going to worry about uh, uh, circling anything. So I'll just say a over 7 is equal to, I'm going to write this as 9 over 1. Multiply a times 1 is a, and then take 7 times 9, so 7 times 9 is 63. So when I have a fraction, I just end up just, you know, making the other side a fraction, like 9 over 1, just cross multiplying. So my answer is 63. Okay, now, right here, you don't have any fractions, so you just have the 9, 
is equal to 9m. You could box and you could circle. So right here I can divide by 9. So this will cancel out and give me m and 9 over 9 is 1. Okay, I have a fraction, so I'm not going to worry about circling or anything like that. So I'm going to say 6. I'm going to write 6 over 1, make that into a fraction. And the reason why I wrote that as a fraction is because x over 5 is a fraction. Cross multiply, so x times 1 is x, and then multiply the other way. So I'm going to say 6 times 5, so x is 30. 